I'm Kenny Carroll and we're here at the Campton Air Show. I've raced for 20 years and I've raced at Lucas Oil since I think it's been 9 or 10 years now. So, so we, we've got some experience going in circles, but this will be a first. I'm Josh Franklin. I built Kenny Carroll's number 94 uh, Josh Franklin Motorsports Street Stock Chassis. Normally this car lives most of its life going about 60 to 80 mile an hour on the dirt sideways. Uh, we're changing things up a little bit and uh, we got an offer from the Chamber of Commerce. They actually called Kenny and he called me and asked if, how fast we could make one go and we're like, oh, I don't know. But uh, we did a little math and thought that maybe, uh, you know, maybe we could uh, keep up with the, the airplane that they were wanting us to race today. So, I don't know, we're just kind of stepping outside of our box. It's a great um, promotional opportunity for dirt track racing. Basically, you know, everything about this car was set up and built to turn left. Uh, so we had to take a lot of that out. Uh, four springs, four shocks, uh, moved a lot of lead and tried to get it back low to the ground. You know, typically the, the ride heights on the car are a lot higher than what they are now. Uh, now we're just trying to make it low and wide and get out of the wind. And uh, gearing, gearing is the biggest thing. Um, you know, where we're used to running 60, 80 mile an hour on dirt, you know, with a 600 rear gear. Now we put a 350 rear gear in it and we're gonna try and go anywhere between 100 mile an hour and 150 mile an hour. So, um, you know, we're so out of our element here. We don't, we don't know exactly, but uh, we took our best swing at it and we'll, we'll see how it turns out. All of our what little bit of addition and subtraction we know, we figured out we was wanting somewhere between a 350 and a 370 final drive in our rear end. Normally at Lucas Oil, I run a 600 gear. We normally top out between 80 and 90 mile an hour, but then you got to turn sideways at the end of it and go around the corner, so it's still a very thrilling deal. So we knew what kind of gear we wanted, so we of course that's what every Ford pickup ever made four wheel drive has in it. So we went and found a gear, I put a mini spool in it, I have, maybe I'm just lucky, I've never broke a mini spool in 20 years of racing. A lot of my friends have, I never had. So we put a mini spool in it, we went there and practiced Friday and thrashed this car. We ran the guts out of it. I think we ran like six or eight times. Everybody was all satisfied, we knew what we were going to do. We get there Saturday morning, there is thousands of people there. My pits are packed. Everything's going to plan, we get out there on it. And of course these things have a little bitty clutch in them. They're not made for drag racing. So I was abusing it. Well, I think we got it so hot from Friday's activities that the clutch tried to chatter and it would not slip at all. So when I let out on the clutch, it just engaged. And when it engaged, it broke the rear end, broke the mini spool immediately and still made the car go almost a thousand feet off that initial explosion. So then we, we roll it in the pits First thing we gotta do is decide what is the real problem. You know, half the half of us are just mad and upset. The other half, we gotta figure out what's wrong. So we my, actually, my boy looked underneath it. We seen it was just the drive shaft was still spinning. At least we knew we had a chance. Uh, at that point, you know, I've got a lot of friends and family, and this is this is where I'm, I'm from. People come down and heard what the deal was. We needed a set of gears. Uh, my cousin ha has a mud truck, has the exact same set of gears in it and that truck was about six miles away at another buddy's house. So we split up, it also ranked my axles. Franklin goes to his shop and steals a set of axles. I go to, to down the road six or seven miles and pull a mud truck out of, the, out of the weeds, drag it over to my good friend Steve Preble's house, to his shop right there. We jank, jank the gears out of it, come back, everything goes to plan, get it installed. And as soon as we set the car on the ground, they told me that the plane was already in the air. If I wanted to race him, get my clothes on. So that's what we did. The first race, they asked me, they go, do you want to practice? I said, no. They said, do you want to drive back and forth in front of the fans? I said, no. I said, I want to race that airplane before this car breaks again. So we go out there, and of course I was pretty keyed up. And we use a three-speed, just like a mid-70s Chevy pickup has, straight out of the book. Just nothing done to it. It even has gear oil, you know, 80, 90 gear oil in it. Uh, I, I cranked it pretty hard in second, and there's a big jump between second and third. And it ended up being my fastest time of the day because I guess I was so wound up that I wound it up a little higher that time. Uh, I actually hit my rev limiter. 
uh, 8,000 RPM rev limiter. I hit that about 100 yards before the end of the track. So, and that's where the radar gun was. So technically, the pilot says we went faster than the 146, but that's what the radar gun said. And I was able to do it actually down and back. I did it both ways. So the rest of the day at that point, you know, I, I probably wasn't trying quite as hard or whatever. I was just satisfied we made it and we, we made three or four more passes. Still outran the little red biplane. And, and that was a really, really legitimate race. So we had a good time. It all went, couldn't have been better. There's a lot of people here today. All morning we were just flooded and everybody was so amped up. And of course that had to be when it broke. But the crowd was packed full all day long. It's a beautiful day. The wind don't bother me as much as the airplane. I think it went really good for people that had no clue what they were doing. And to be able to go 146, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic. No, nothing broke, nothing else happened. So I'm, I'm really tickled with how it turned out. I've done.